good morning welcome to another episode here at bath art refinishing today we're going to be refinishing this bathtub back to its original white color we're going to go ahead and start with step number one which was cleaning the area removing all caulking and now we're going to apply our specially formulated acid to wash and remove any remaining soap scum and properly prep the area for primer and then top coat refinishing. He will be applying that acid now. While he does that, I'm gonna show you a mirror. This area here, we're gonna go ahead and nano coat with our hydrophobic and antimicrobial nano coating and make this surface hydrophobic and antimicrobial for two years requiring no more harsh cleaning so the customer will be able to brush their teeth and shave and, and things of that nature and benefit from no more harsh cleaning and of course making the glass antimicrobial which is a huge benefit protecting us from bacteria and and all those things we want to avoid I'm going to start this process by degreasing the glass with our nano degreaser. And we just let that sit for a few. Go ahead and rub it into the surface so it starts to, to work its way into all work its way into all the crevices and all the pores of that glass. We're going to go ahead and let that sit for a little bit. In the meantime, we're here applying the acid. He's almost wrapped up here. Once he applies that, he lets it sit for approximately five minutes. And then he'll return and remove, wash all of it. And then he will hit the whole surface with a razor blade and ensure that there's no more discrepancies or no more left particles from the acid or soap scums, things of that nature. And then he will entirely hit the surface with the wet sand process, mechanically and by hand. We're letting the degreaser sit and like I said, fully penetrate the glass. Even though we don't notice it or even though we don't, we can't see it, all surfaces, especially glass, have pores in them. Um, on, a, on a microscopic nano scale. So our nanotechnology degreaser and products is able to penetrate that and reach those surfaces and actually into the crevices and actually into those pores and deep clean all that grime and grout and all that stuff out of there and then we could apply our protective coating over it and completely seal it on a nanoscopic scale pretty interesting stuff so right now we're just letting that degreaser sit we're wrapping up on this corner here and we will return shortly to show you both clean surfaces. All right, at this point, the acid has set for five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all of the acid off and any remaining residue. He said he's hit it with the razor as well. As you see, all of this stuff is, uh, all these are industrial chemicals, so the proper ventilation system, mask, and PPE is required. Now, on our mirror, the degreaser has 
been allowed to sit for five minutes and then it's also been worked into the glass. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove all of it. You can see all of our, even our degreaser products are nano, so the hydrophobic process starts immediately. You can see just from our degreaser, once I apply water, it starts to beat up and smoothly run down, um, leaving no more um, water stains, things of that nature. So the hydrophobic process starts immediately. It starts with the degreasing process. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a microfiber cloth. That's all we use here at Bath Art Refinishing. Microfiber is the best. I, I, I encourage you guys to use this at home on all of your surfaces. It reduces static electricity, which we all know um, dead skin cells and things of that nature attract to static and that's where we get the dust build up. And this also leaves no, no, uh, no screeches and, and no back residue. So this is really great for cleaning. It could be used on wood and, and it could be used on virtually on any surface. It's great for stone, really good for glass, mirror, things of that nature. So, we go ahead, and this is just alkaline water. We're applying this just to remove all of that nano degreaser, because the next step is going to be to actually apply the nano coating, making the surface antimicrobial and extremely hydrophobic. Like I said, this stuff is like Rain-X on steroids. So, that'll be applied in a two-part step that I will show you next. Um, however, at this point, we're just assuring we remove all that nano degreaser because we don't want any of that on there whenever we apply the nano top coat. So like I said, we're using microfiber just to assure we're not leaving any residue. Just to assure we're completely clearing the surface of any of that nano degreaser we use. Now, if this mirror was in a harsher condition, or had real bad water stains that they've been sitting there for years or damaged to the glass then we have a nano polish and a nano rejuvenator that we could apply to the glass and bring it back to its original look in this mirror's case after the degreaser application it brought it back to its original look so there's no need for the deep buffing or um, polish system however we're going to let that fully dry and then we'll go ahead and apply our nano top coat protector. As you see here, all of that uh, acid has basically been removed. This surface has also been wet sanded by using a mouse and then by hand. So it is absolutely prep for a primer and then top coat application. Uniquely here at Bath Art Refinishing, we use a DuPont self-etching primer, which self-etches the surface before the top coat is applied. It's a really great process, it really helps us stand by our warranty and offer the best possible warranty available. Okay, now that the mirror has fully dried, we're gonna go ahead and apply our nano top antimicrobial coating and hydrophobic coating, making the surface hate water, meaning no more soap stains, soap scum stains, water stains, things of that nature. But of course, make it antimicrobial, protecting us from germs, things of that nature. Now we're gonna go ahead and take advantage and also coat this uh, metal area, all these metal fixtures, beautiful metal fixtures, they get really dirty with water stains and, uh, you know, from our toothpaste, especially, and soap, shaving cream, things like that. They're really hard to keep clean. So we're going to take advantage and use our antimicrobial hydrophobic steel cleaner or steel shine to go ahead and one degrease it and bring it to its raw material and then protect and clean it and make the surface antimicrobial and hydrophobic reducing cleaning and preventing germ buildup and, and all that buildup from our toothpaste and shaving cream and things like that it's pretty neat 
So I'm going to go ahead and degrease the area, very similar to what we did with our uh, with our glass. Let that sit for a little while, and then I'll go ahead and work that product in. Work the product in to the metal. Make sure we're completely degreasing the surface and. the degreaser in there, ensuring it reaches all corners and completely clean. Like I told you, this degreaser starts working immediately. So this surface is already magnetically becoming um, hydrophobic. So we completely degrease the surface, work the product into the surface, we're sure that we're cleaning every angle, we're cleaning every crevices, and our nano degreaser and our nano products are actually reaching every ounce and inch of the surface. You can see how clear we are already. This stuff is just amazing. Now, what nano does is also eliminate fingerprints. So fingerprints that are left on these things from opening and closing them, and all the shaving cream and toothpaste and all that stuff that sticks on there. We're going to go ahead and eliminate all that. Just like the glass, we want to go ahead and remove it. As you see, just from our degreaser, this isn't even our nano top coat. We'll apply that here in a little bit, but it automatically makes the surface hydrophobic. Making cleanup super simple. Imagine, you know, staining the surface with your shaving cream residue or toothpaste residue or whatever you might be cleaning inside this sink and then the surface is, stays hydrophobic so cleanup is super easy as you see there. It'll just be normal maintenance wipe down. And this is all just from using our degreaser. We still have to apply the nano top coat that makes the surface extremely hydrophobic and then applies the antimicrobial elements making this surface antimicrobial and we can all Thomas has already finished wet sanding and removing all of that um, acid residue that was left now he's prepping the area, protecting the area as you see we only use the finest materials a lot of refinishers use the, the cheap and inexpensive tape we use top painter's tape and the reason we do that is because our customers' homes are just as important to us as they are to the customer. So we want to assure that we're protecting these beautiful wood floors and these granite countertops and these uh, marble walls and we want to protect your investment. So we really take our time and ensure we're using the proper materials, the proper equipment to protect your surface. So once he's done here, then we'll um, install our ventilation system and then get ready for our um, self etching uh, primer. And then we will apply our top coats and bring this bathtub to its original look. Alright, here we're going to go ahead and apply our nano hydrophobic and antimicrobial top coating. Um, as you see, we're an environmentally friendly company. All of our product is up directly applied to the pad so that we're not A, wasting any product, but we're also not releasing any of it into the environment. Um, our process needs to be applied directly to the surface in a single smooth motion being very careful and assuring that you're coating every ounce and inch of the glass ensure that it's fully coated 
Now don't worry about getting any of this stuff on the wood. It's great for making wood hydrophobic. Or if you get it on any of the hardware, it's also great. We're actually going to take advantage and apply it on this hardware that we coated earlier. Now what we're doing is making it super hydrophobic and antimicrobial for the next two years. This is the best in the industry and actually the best product we have to offer making surfaces like I said hydrophobic keeping them clean and free of water stains and then making them antimicrobial meaning no more soap scum mildew things of that nature as you see this nano coating works on such a small scale that it's actually gone in and removed all the discrepancies in that in that metal any tarnish or anything that was there old metal stains that we all know are almost impossible to remove have been removed and this has actually been brought back to its original look as if they just bought it at Home Depot and it's completely amazing but like I said another great benefit is that the surface is antimicrobial mm, no more worries of bacteria on that surface. Now we let that fully dry for about five minutes and then we're going to go ahead and apply another coating and that will be the antimicrobial uh, properties and then we're all set. Thank you. Okay, we've let that sit now we're going to go ahead and apply our, our next coat. As you see on this coat here a surface has already become super hydrophobic so even the nano that I'm applying is starting to beat up <laughs> this stuff always surprises me I love it. it amazes me every time I apply it so once again I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that all of it is completely worked into the glass applied in evenly and assure that we coat the glass from top to bottom, left to right. I'm gonna go ahead and finish coating this with the second coat. This looks amazing. And what I'm excited is for my customer to benefit from all the reduction and cleaning. One of the main things that get this dirty is our toothpaste. So, and the great thing is that we coated all of the handles making them antimicrobial so now when her kids finish using the washroom or when they touch these surfaces they stay antimicrobial her husband comes home from work he can wash his hands and whatever dirty surfaces he's touched throughout the day he's not tracking them and leaving them on our in our bathroom for our kids to pick up for us so a great benefit huge okay our last step is to actually clean the glass with our blue wash um, very similar to Windex this stuff could be used on on all glass um, great for automotive glass it's also great for metal stone wood it could virtually be used on any surface however it's great for glass um, it'll temporarily make the surface hydrophobic and antimicrobial but it also reactivates the initial nano coating that we applied and will extend your warranty from a two-year warranty to a lifetime warranty um, we use this product once we're done applying our nano just as a way to clean it and also um, remove any nano residue that was left so this is the last step here and we're just using a microfiber cloth microfiber paper towel and um, our blue wash this product is actually found on our website you can order it from our website and have it delivered to your home or office and um, we prefer you use these nano paper towels however you could use whatever you'd like um, like I said the 
the benefits to using hydro fi fiber or microfiber cloths and paper towels is that um, you reduce static electricity and things of that nature and streaks. Okay. As you see here, the room has been fully prepped for refinishing. Um, we blocked off the entranceway to avoid any fumes coming out into the home. My partner is um, in the process of setting up the ventilation system. He's um, coming out through one of the windows. We'll bring the tube in and set it up here so that all the exhaust comes in through the exhaust fumes, through the exhaust hose and fumes exit the home. Um, as you see, the whole area has been masked off and prepped. Um, we prep the drain area to make sure no water leakage. Um, after this has been refinished, it needs to cure for 48 hours. So we want to ensure that no, um, no water or anything um, interferes with the drying process. So we mask it off property to avoid any issues. And then we mask off the metal as well to avoid any overspray. Um, like I said, the whole area is prepped and covered. Even the wood area down here is covered with plastic to assure that it's fully protected. Um, all of this fine wood here has been covered, as well as the mirror that we just finished nanoing and the counter. All of that area has been fully masked off and prepped. And like I said, all this is done to avoid any overspray and of course protect the homeowner, their investment, and assure that nothing has any overspray. Okay. So here's the exhaust system. My partner just set it up. We decided to put it as close as possible to the tub to get as much as the exhaust fumes in the here and out of the home. Um, as you see, it completely runs out. And my partner got with the homeowner and together they decided which uh, window and exit would be best to least disturb the homeowner and or residents. As you see, it's completely going out a window and my partner's out there setting it up so it exhausts out completely and he'll give me the okay and I'll turn it on for him. What was that? Go ahead. Okay. He'll give me the okay. So we'll actually turn the exhaust system on. So we're sure that the exhaust is pointed in the right direction to avoid any overspray of course on the home, on the neighbor's home, any plants or anything of that nature. We take the extra steps to assure that everything is protected and, and done correctly. system is set up. Perfect. How's it look? Good? Yeah. Perfect. You're going to go ahead and mix the primer? Yeah. All right. Okay. He's going to go ahead and mix, like I explained earlier, we use a unique, a unique process. We use a DuPont self-etching primer to assure we completely etch the surface and apply our refinishing top coat on correctly. Here is the exhaust fume set up, which is going to exhaust all these chemicals and harm fumes out of the home. Alright, right now, this is the last step before we primer. He's actually vacuuming the whole area and assuring there's no more dust or anything left. And then he's going to use a tack cloth. Tack cloths are usually used by wood makers and painters and um, professional planers to attack the area and assure there's no more dust, particulates, particles, you know, anything of that nature left over on the surface. This is one final chance to assure you got the surface 
A, completely removed of any old particulates, any old particles that might have fell in while we were prepping the area. So any dust that might have fell in or anything of that nature, this is our last chance to go ahead and remove all that. A lot of refinishers forget this step. This step is crucial and very important in the refinishing process to make to assure you get that smooth, clean glass finish. Like I said, this here is a tack cloth. Um, this is used by professional painters, wood makers, and things of that nature. Before they um, finish a product, they go ahead and tack it. And like I said, it's, it's almost like a manual vacuum cleaner, kind of assuring that any leftover residue, any dust or particles that might have fell in there during the cleaning process, and or prepping process will be completely picked up. So this is kind of our last chance to make sure we completely eliminate the surface of, of any dirt. Even bugs that might have fell in during the acid wash, sometimes bugs will fall in there and die and stick to the surface. So this will make sure we remove all of it. This is our tack cloth process. All right, the next step is the refinish. Alright guys, as promised, there's a live shooting. BathArtRefinishing.com <laughs>